Hello, you be beautiful people. I'm Michael Botts and I help people succeed. I help people reach the goal that maybe they've been scared to set. We always start the show with some deep breaths and some gratitude. So that's what we're going to do now. We'll start with gratitude. I am grateful for this um, light that I have behind the camera. Look out, it makes the little circle in my eyes. Isn't that beautiful? And it's working. I'm grateful for the electricity that brings the light and turns it on. And I am enough. So that's how we do our gratefuls. I am grateful for, and then I am enough. You can leave it in the comments. You can leave it wherever you want to leave it. You need to say it out your mouth because this is what happens. When you say it out your mouth, it goes in your inner ear, down in your soul, and now your soul and the universe are collaborating to make more of that happen. So when I say I'm grateful for the light, more stuff to help me produce videos will come into my life. If I say I'm grateful for my relationship with my daughter and I am enough, more of that will come into my life. That is what happens. And the same thing happens when you complain. If I say out my mouth, oh man, I'm late for everything, then it goes in my inner ear, down in my soul, and my soul and the universe are collaborating to make more of that happen. See, my soul, the subconscious, maybe not my soul, the subconscious doesn't know good and bad, positive and negative. The subconscious just hears what you say and then is trying to elaborate collaborate on that to make it happen and the universe always wants to give you what you desire and what you say out your mouth that's how we do gratitudes now we're gonna do some breaths the purpose of the breaths is to create space so that you can receive what the universe has for you now I'm not special there's nothing spectacular about me but I do share what's coming through me to you and hopefully you need it. I believe that it's valuable. I believe it has an impact on people's lives and I'm gonna keep doing it. So breathe in your nose, let the cool air hit the warm back of your throat and go down into your lungs. Notice that your lungs, the muscle, the muscles are pulling, creating that vacuum that which pulls the air in. And then the muscles go less to push the air out. And just be grateful for that. We're going to do three breaths. Ready? Breathe in. Let it out. Oh, I already feel that right back here. Oh, that's spectacular. Ready? Breathe in. Breathe out. Notice the space you're starting to create. The answer is in the space. Why don't you say that? The answer is in the space. All right, here we go. Ready? Breathe in. Let it out. Oh, that is nice. That is nice. I'm going to read you something and then we're going to talk about it. This, I saw this on a, on a show I was watching. It was a, a show on Netflix. And this woman is coming out of an abusive relationship. So she says this. She says, you stay because you don't think you deserve any better. You think it's the best you can do. Now, I want us to apply that to our lives. First of all, I'm sorry if you've been abused, and I don't take that lightly. And if there's anything I can do to help you get out of something like that, I would do it in a New York minute. But I want us to apply this statement to where we are in our lives. You stay because you don't think you deserve any better. You think it's the best you can do. Where are we staying 
because we don't think we can do any better? Where are we staying in our relationships because we don't think we can do any better? Where are we staying in our finances because we don't think we can do any better? Where are we staying in our body because we don't think we can do any better? Hmm. Where are we staying in our spirit and our soul, our dream and our passion because we don't think we can do any better? I'd love for you just to consider that. I'd love for you to take that and apply it today and ask that question. Am I here in this physically, financially, emotionally, relationship-wise, in my spirit, in my soul, where I live, what I drive, who I'm hanging out with? Do I stay here because I don't think I deserve any better? And I would offer you this last thought. If you saw someone else staying where you're staying, Would you tell them to get out? Would you tell them to run? Would you tell them to change? Would you encourage them to get away from that circumstance, that situation, to, to treat this better? I want to read it one more time because it's just so powerful. We stay because we don't think we deserve any better. We think this right now is the best we can do. Do you think your body right now is the best you can do? Do you think the relationship that you're in right now is the best you can do and that's why you stay? Do you think your finances right now are the best you can do, so you stay right there. I love you. Oh, I love you so much. I care about you. Stay alive.